Dear participants, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to welcome you as a member of the European Parliament and member of the European Parliament's Environment, Public Health and Food Safety Committee on such an important conference on the historical directive on patients' rights in cross-border healthcare. Health systems are primarily the responsibility of the EU member states, but in some cases, as confirmed by several European Court of Justice rulings since 1998, EU citizens may seek health care in other member states, with the costs covered by their own health systems. European citizens show a growing interest in travelling abroad to receive treatment. Currently, just 1% of patients seek treatment in other countries, costing national health care systems a total of uh, 10 billion euros and the Commission estimates the cost increase under the new rules will be just uh, 30 million euros a year. On 19 January 2011, members of the European Parliament voted historically, thus paved the way for EU citizens to seek health care anywhere in the European Union, expanding rights that would primarily help patients with rare diseases and people living near national borders. That was a great day for all citizens in Europe who aspire for the best and fastest health care available. Patients will no longer be alone in the bureaucratic jungle of so many different health insurance systems when they decide to get treatment in another EU member state. This directive is designed to allow patient mobility. We already have mobility of workers and students. It's part of the fundamental rights of European citizens. This does not, however, encourage medical tourism. We simply want to allow a wider range of public health for patients. It is very important, especially in border regions. After long and hard negotiations with the Council, Parliament finally achieved what we were looking for, a solid legal basis for dealing with cross-border healthcare in the EU that was until now in a legal grey zone. We unified the different standards set by the European Court of Justice and we created thus a clear and objective system of references. The Cross-Border Health Care Directive, penned in 2008, should become effective in 2013. The directive aims to remove all the obstacles an European citizen could face when trying to seek care in a member state other than his home country by creating clear and harmonized rules about reimbursement for health care provided in other member states and to ensure that the necessary requirements for high quality, safe and efficient health care are ensured for cross-border care by giving responsibility for the quality of health care to the member states. Patients have a choice about the place where they seek treatment and the possibility of having the best possible care. There will be centers with national contacts to access information relating to healthcare in other countries. If someone needs permission to go and receive care in another EU country, the payment will be paid directly by the country of the patient to the country where the medical care is received. From now on, we have clear and equal rules applicable to patients' access to cross-border healthcare. Citizens will be better informed on their rights of reimbursement in the case of treatment abroad through the creation of single contact points in each member state. Those living in border regions and seeking the closest place of medical aid and those suffering under rare diseases will profit most from the simplified procedures introduced by this directive. Parliament has done everything to provide best care available for every European citizen and proved once again its closeness to EU citizens. Do enjoy nice days in Bled and best regards from Brussels.